Hello! Sean's Hands, back with more Path of Exile Fall of Oriat, uh expansion. And made it up to the top of this, uh, this map that we crashed on last time. Hopefully uh, going to have a little bit more stable day. Have a little sketchiness this morning with the internet, so uh, I'm having my modem replaced. This is all stuff you don't care about. Why would you care about this stuff? Uh, I won't make a big deal about it. If we crash, we crash, and I'll just pick, try, you know, pick up where we left off. Um, and, and cut it up that way uh but for now it seems like things are okay and running kind of stable and we've reached the top of what is this zone even called the ascent uh coming out of um highgate and uh we have the resonator instructions here uh altitude in, well yeah uh let's see not sure how well that sounds coming through um let me turn up the dialogue sound I know we had, yeah, dialogue sounds real low. Master volume's kind of low, uh, kind of high, or has been. So I'm just still trying to get the that balanced. Captain Tavares. There we go. Altitude is imperative to forging a stable connection with the prime resonator in Theopolis. Power source is equally vital. Locate a fissure in the mountainside and lower a conductive cable into it. The deeper, the better. It will take an immense amount of thaumaturgical energy to execute the successful disintegration and transmission of objects, both inanimate and animate, between Highgate and Theopolis. For that kind of power, we must tap the origin. I needn't remind you of the consequences, should either of those elements prove deficient. That is why I would like you, Tavares, to be the first to test the resonator once it is operational. Thanks. Accountability is a perfect counterweight to ambition. All right, so since this is new stuff, I plan to kind of read things and listen to uh, listen to the dialogue. Um, since it's all you know, new content. Um, apologies if you're not into that. I would just kind of skip ahead a little bit. I'm I dig it, and I kind of want to see what the characters say um, until I'm bored with it, uh, which hopefully won't happen. So we're entering the slave pens. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna terminate her into it. <laughs> okay, awesome. Here we go. Yeah, got a waypoint, which is nice. And back to our uh, righteous fire build. See how this goes. So these dudes are killing slaves. Ow! You watch yourself. Uh, I got my flammability on. Um, got my. Oh. Okay. Ooh, Scarlet Rain it. Probably not that useful for me, but nice to get the uh, chromatic orb, nothing else. Get our power. Oh, don't go. Like, I mean, this is cool. This is a cool. Uh, yeah, I'm liking the artwork so far. I'm liking the new, new map. Um, I don't know. It's possible this is not a new map tile, map set, and I just don't recognize it from uh, like one of the uh, one of the late game maps, which I haven't done a ton of late game, but it looks new to me. It looks awesome. I love these things. Um, I mean, I wouldn't want to run into one. Let me pay attention to where I'm going, though. Haha, <laughs> run into the fire beam. Nice job, Smarty. Still working on getting these uh, righteous fire totems with some enough life to keep them viable, but I think we're getting closer. Um, Oh god, those guys evaporated. That's awesome. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, 
those things. I'm never going to get those with the totem build. And he's gone. Do I have, is there supposed to be music and I just have it turned off? I feel like it's a little quiet. Uh, music. Oh yeah, this is, I don't want to turn it up too much, but... There we go. I want to hear the new music for these zones, too. Again, assuming it's new. But they'd be, I feel like they'd be crazy not to include new music. Come on out, you guys. It's fine out here. Okay, stand there and get burned. So I'm still kind of up in the open about... Um, not how viable this is, just what the play style is going to be in the long run. You know, uh, it's, it's definitely a more, I don't want to say passive build, uh, but I mean, it's a totem build, so that's sort of fundamental to their play style. You can't be surprised if the totem build is, uh, you know, not super clicky. Uh, and I'm, I'm okay with it so far, don't get me wrong. Just trying to get a sense of what feels right from a, from a play perspective. It's, it's funny, you know, in a way, having that Sunder build for so long in the leveling process, um, it becomes very comfortable. You really understand how you're going to want to kind of connect and, you know, bundle up and potentially, you know, kind of set up your enemies. Uh, and that automatically changes with, a, changes with a build like this. Again, not that it is better or worse. Uh, and I can see, I'm definitely going to want to keep good, good health. I mean, I would have wanted to keep the health build for one thing. It's a life build for one thing, but uh, for another. The best thing, it feels like the best thing I can do is kind of get into a big bundle of these guys and drop the totem. And again, I guess it, dep it depends a bit on, you know, how much they pursue. Oh, oh whoa! Chill, dude! Nope, 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 nope. That all, that's all bad. Uh, let's drop some debuffs on him. Yeah, that ought to help. Yeah, burn! Haha. <laughs> um, okay, well, that's a. That sounded a little more maniacal than I wanted to do. Going full on Mad King Targaryen over here. <laughs> burn them all. Oh, town! Sweet! Okay. Uh, yeah, Navali. See you soon. Okay, talk to Lani for a reward. An exile returned. I know, right? How is that even possible? Mm, and giant a Kalu warrior thing? too. Descending from the sky to destroy our enemies like Tukahama in the stories my mother used to tell me. Well, your divine intervention gave us just the diversion we needed to take this tower. Heck yeah. So if you keep doing things like that, then I might have to start believing in the god. And thank you for finishing off that last overseer for us. I don't know what sort of mother could have birthed that land-loving whale. <laughs> but we were lucky he wasn't here when we took this tower. He'd have spread us across the floor like butter on a piece of bread. Uh, all right, let's see. How are my resists? Oh, they're all capped. I mean, not chaos, but jeez. I'm resisted up pretty good. Uh, so resists aren't a thing. Uh, I mean, they are a thing, but I don't care too much about them. God, um, which one was lowest? Not by much, but cold. Uh, so let's take a cold. Do I have a cold ring? Would I be replacing it? I have one that's fire and lightning. And lightning... So, we could probably, if we were going to swap something out, I don't know, it's unlikely to matter either way, because our lightning resist is killer. Um, yeah, let's take the cold. Fourth. I do not know you, nor you me, but I honor you all the same. Anointed in Templar blood, cold resist, come to us. maximum life. Give us the reason, maximum, the hope to rise shield. up. The tormented one has spoken. Kitava, the immortal slave, yeah. understands our plight like no other. Probably not. 
He speaks through you, warrior. He tells us that we shall be free. Utsula Makora is what they call me, and I have the miserable task of being chief to this lot. Well, I put well, this is gonna hurt their feelings. Hands. I tell them where to stab, where to run, where to die. If blood isn't the only currency we need to earn to buy our freedom. We can kill all the Templar mongrels we like out there. It won't matter a damn if we don't get inside their stronghold, the Templar courts. Might as well put my bloody chains back on right now. Problem is, there's some sort of witchery surrounding the place. Only those who see the truth with faithful eyes are getting in there. The power of innocence. It's all in the eyes, you see. Yet blessed Kitava has answered my prayers and sent us just the pair of eyes we need. The ever faithful Justicar Casticus. He's there in the control blocks right now, smiting my people with self righteous fury. Hmm. Find him and rip his faithful eyes hmm. out. Okay. Then I'm sure the good Justicar will be kind enough I to see, see what you, you did there. into the Templar courts. Too. Okay. Good. Uh, this ring is not really, doesn't feel like an upgrade to me of any kind. Nothing here really feels like an upgrade. We're going to get a couple of chromatic orbs, which I always love. We'll draw Talakura, us. savior. Tal Talakura to you too, pal. Talakura all day. An exalted shard, by the way. Nice. Um, hallowed and sacred. So I'm just gonna sell these. I'm not gonna. I don't want to get into the. Yeah, I'm not that interested in just messing with. Uh huh. Bottles. Uh, so. And topaz. I guess I could save like the Ooh, elemental that. ones. Put that there. Uh, clarity. We'll just toss these in here. And then we'll get back on the way. Uh, who's Valenta? Valenta. Unlike these assorted ignorami, oh. I'm not surprised to see you here. The beast is dead, all thanks to you, I suppose. I was listening to the beast's death rattles when these lunatics broke in, wrecked the place, and dragged me here to tend to their cuts and bruises. Thankfully, I was able to bring some of my paraphernalia with me. The balance of power is shifting in your favor, O oh murderer of nightmares. If I am in possession of anything that might smooth the transition of governance, don't hesitate to ask. You'll find my terms quite reasonable. I feel like she's like, trying to sell me ago, drugs. Some time ago, I fabricated a device able to sense and amplify the corrupt murmurings of Rayclast, a miasmeter. <laughs> I listened to those whispers for years lingering beyond sane comprehension and then the scream such profound agony that my mind was nearly sundered by its percussion i thought another cataclysm might be upon us and hmm. no it was you slaying the beast i was witness to a singularly potent cadence this corruption I am convinced that it holds the very key to our human history, and with it, our very existence. Yet without <coughs> the miasmeter, I am condemned to deafened ignorance. It remains in piety's laboratory, as long as Utula's miscreants haven't vandalized the poor thing. Oh, sweet, we get to go to piety's laboratory. All right, the control blocks. Sweet. Sorry, dude. Uh, let's go ahead and... I keep needing to get shield charge, I think. Return to Kitama! They threw, like, little slow traps on the, on the floor. The war? Sure. Kind of a war. Lots of chests. I don't find 
I don't find it very productive to open chests. I kind of wish I did. I wish that was more of a thing. I mean, I'm sure you can open the chest. If you get lucky, it just doesn't feel like the game rewards you very much for opening chests or, you know, smacking barrels or any of that stuff. Um, which is both good and, well, maybe less good than good. I like that kind of stuff. There is something profoundly AR, one, ARPG-ish, uh, and two, just kind of satisfying about, you know, part of it is is obviously the you know, killing bad guys and having them drop food, but just opening a chest and having something pop out of there too, unexpectedly. Like, I dig that. I wish that, that felt like more of a thing, particularly considering how many damn chests there are. Right? I mean, they got three here and four. Not a single useful item popped out of them. Uh, we can upgrade our gems, which I definitely want to do. Looks like this is not the correct way. Oh, I meant to keep meaning to put my uh, speed flask back in. Doesn't feel like I really need that extra elemental protection yet. Um, definitely considering <laughs> what we saw with the. Uh, uh, with the current resistance numbers I'm working with here. I, I think I am going to do that. I think I want to go back real quick and replace my flask. This just isn't doing me much good right now. It felt sort of perfunctory to do it. Uh, any of these special? No, not special at all. All right, you hang out here. You come back to me. There we go. <clears throat> get through the levels a little faster. Oh, and I, speaking of levels, uh, I just did that thing. Leveling, I mean. So, we are... I went ahead and picked up the last of... Well, I mean, I could grab this one. But what I'd like to do is head over here and pick up this fire damage uh, section. And just kind of keep buffing, keep buffing, keep, keep, keep on packing in damage in there uh, for my, uh, for my Rexus fire. Like that is that is sort of my singular focus right now. I like how he can jump through a door. I don't think he'd hit your head, but he's just that good. Alright, keep going. Oh, looks like we got over here. Experimental supplies. This must be piety's ew. Piety, that's gross. The miasmeter. Uh, and we gain access to, we'll go ahead and kill Justicar Kesticus. Yeah, this looks very piety, doesn't it? Piety loved her electricity, I guess. Don't point at me. Oh, those little traps are kind of annoying. Uh... starting to burn with some some satisfying degree of uh, of consistency starting to feel the damage come through mm, let's see let's see it'll be this way Oof. I'm gonna get up there hopefully not get wrecked in the process Come on through, guys. Come on. It's fun. Everybody loves it over on this side. Oh, don't be afraid. It's all good. Oh, this is where all the fun is. Okay, I get it. No, don't stand in the... Yeah, no, or do. There we go. We got a regal shard. Alchemy shard. Right this way, boys. You there. 
Let me bend your ear for a moment. Even... Let's see you knock me on my arm. <laughs> Stop running. Thank you. Now, here I was. Alright, level two. Cool. Uh, keep going. Let's find this Justicar dude. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, it feels like he's dying pretty quick. Oof. Nice. Yeah, it's coming together nicely. I'm starting to feel it now. That is... That's working for me. He's going to need to keep my survivability. Because I'm kind of the bait. I mean, that's the interesting thing about a build like this, right? I mean, the one of the core ideas is, you know, drop it and then run away. But kind of underlying that is the idea that you're just there to kind of tease the monsters into chasing you. Like, come get me. So you have to be able to take a little bit of a beating. Um, and then you can just block them off. Like that. Which I'm also just fine with. Burned. All right. Into Oriath Square. Awesome. And we'll head back to town real quick. Go ahead and sell our stuff. Keep going. Um, yeah. Lani. Thank you. You're welcome. By killing Casticus, you've given us a fighting chance. And about his eyes, I love these. I'm sorry you amazing. had to do that. <laughs> Yet although Tula's solution might seem brutal, I've seen Kadui men blinded with a hot poker, simply for looking a fraction too long at an Oriathan lady. Yes, this is war. And just a little revenge, too. Take something. A token okay. about... Uh, oh, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and get a magic quicksilver flask. Remember... We do this. I simply can't express how wondrous it is to see you. What? <laughs> no, not you, Exile. Uh, oh. The Miasmita. The hope of humanity lies in this beautiful device and the uh. precious knowledge it shall divulge. Far more useful than an accidental hulk of meat and instinct okay. like yourself. Super cool, Valenta. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to discover that your slaying of the beast correlates directly to the strife we must currently suffer. At least you've proved useful enough to return the miasma. Okay, well, I do like your reward. I do not like your attitude, but I do like your reward. Uh, let's check these things out. Um... Faster recovery. That'll work for me. Uh, this is worth saving, so let's go sell this stuff. Pick up our passive point. Thank you. There we go. Keep going over here to our burning node. Yeah, I can start getting them. Excellent. Fire damage. More. More. More burning. Um, there we go. Level that up. Head back in for... Or yes, square. Awesome. Uh, so you guys of zeal to access Templar courts, find High Templar Avarius and kill him. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh wow, like they're they're like people running. Oh god, those people I think it just burned them. Oh, sorry you guys. Hopefully not. Oh, do I not have my yeah. Oh, and we got a Harbinger. Excellent. Love the Harbinger stuff. Don't stand in the fire! You. So what is the Harbinger doing to make some of these guys, like, super big?
go. Chaos Shard. Alchemy Shard. Ancient Shard. What do the ancient orbs do? Uh, curse on hit. Area of effect. Nice, nice. Try not to kill the innocents. Truck. Can't make any promises. Ah, uh, burn you guys. I need to put my uh, what do you call this? golem on like a, I don't know, on some kind of automatic tax. which I think you can do. Hey, stop it! That is annoying as hell. <laughs> Good for you. Walk right into it. I really appreciate it. Oh. Pick up that sword. All right. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, I'm really sorry about this stuff, guys. It's it's frustrating for me too. But you know, um, unexpected disconnect seems like as good a place as any to stop. Uh, Anyway, until next time, we will pick up in the next episode right where we left off. I'll clear out a little bit of space there in the uh, Oriath Square, and we'll pick up from there. Until then, my name is Sean Sands from GamersForJobs.com. Uh, thank you for joining me for Path of Exile, the Fall of Oriath, and our Righteous Fire build. Um, and we will see you again real soon.